Hi everyone and welcome back to the third one of these lessons on fibres and we have done natural fibres, we know that they have a natural compound either called cellulose or protein and then we've looked at synthetic fibres and we've got the crude oil which we need to make those and now we're going to look at regenerated fibres and those again have the compound cellulose which is quite intriguing right they're basically made out of tree pulp so um, because trees are made out of cellulose you take that and you mix it with a chemical and hey presto you get a fiber which is half natural and half man-made and the way these fibers are produced differs of course from fiber to fiber so let's look at the first fiber which i'm sure you're familiar with we're looking at viscose so when you get a knitted top made out of viscose it'll be really soft and it'll be really floaty and beautiful and shiny like silk it's a fabulous fabric because it's so comfortable to wear and is so good for dyeing so you can use the most brightest colors in the same way you can do with silk so how do i get from this wood pulp to the actual fiber because this is quite interesting the first thing they're doing is they're going to make this wood pulp into sheets and that happens by putting it into caustic soda so then they can have like sheets like thick sheets of paper they are shredded and then mixed up again more caustic soda is added and you get a solution that's called the viscose solution and you can just put that into storage and then when you need it you take it out and you can use it the process by which you get this fiber is called wet spinning and you take the fiber solution and press it through something that looks like a shower head and it's called a spinneret and it goes into like an acid bath and as it comes out of this shower head <laughs> uh, the fiber starts to set in the acid bath and then it goes through heated rollers and that sets it finally and then they're going onto wheels um, and are just kept until they can be dyed or uh, they can be made into yarn and then finally woven and used. Here comes the next one and that is Lyocell. Again you got the same wood pulp and it's marketed under the name Tencel and I'm sure you've seen that in shops on um, sportswear as well as really nice knitted clothing. Just look inside and see if you can find a Tencel next time you go clothes shopping. It's like a modern rayon basically. It's very soft, it's totally absorbent, so comfortable, very strong, wet and dry and resistant to wrinkles very important for us ladies you can sit down get up and get no wrinkles you can machine wash it just think of it as a natural material you can iron it on high heat as well and you can make it into all sorts of textures too from suede to leather and obviously silk which is what we ladies all like and because Lyocell doesn't crease very much at all you get a lot of blends here for example 4% of lyocell just so it's not so creasy because we know all know cotton creases they put together polyester because it's durable and the colors won't fade they put viscose in because that's a nice silkiness then a bit of cotton for comfort a bit of elastane so it's stretchy so the making process for this one is very similar the wood pulp is dissolved in a chemical and this chemical is called dope yes <laughs> dope and now the third one that i want to show you is acetate and acetate sounds really synthetic doesn't it but in fact it's the least environmentally unfriendly fiber of all of those and it's really tough it's got this beautiful gloss and you see it used on evening wear but don't try ironing this on high heat because it will melt and it's also manufactured using wood pulp as a raw material and then the production of it is also better because instead of going through an acid bath it goes through no bath at all but we just have hot air blowing on it setting the fibers as they come out i suppose one of the downsides of acetate is that you can't iron it very hot that it very likely will have to be dry cleaned right let's have a quick look at what do we know what are regenerated fibers made out of cellulose you got it 
Next, what do you need to make the wood pulp into a fiber? A chemical, of course. Which two spinning methods are there to make <clears throat> a regenerated fiber? Which one, which one, which ones? Dry and wet spinning, there you go. Which products are made from acetate? Lining, dress fabric and ties. Which products are made from viscose? Lining, dress fabric, jerseys. Which is the least environmentally friendly regenerated fiber? Ding! Viscose. Which regenerated fibers have a poor crease recovery? Go on, go on, go on. Viscose and acetate. Totally right. Which regenerated fibers have good crease recovery? And that will be Tencel or Lyocell. Bearing in mind that they're actually the same fiber. Thank you everyone for watching again and next week we're going to look at how yarns are made.